Hello guys, Sunjin here. Welcome back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolved. That didn't even work like I thought it would. I thought it would stay in K-Moon. Anyway, hope you all are having an awesome day, guys. Thank you all so much for all the amazing support on the Anunnaki Genesis series. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So I haven't done a whole lot of building because I'd like to save that for an episode. And I feel like super safe right here. But I did get some resource gathering going on. And I got enough stuff to make some makeshift scuba gear. Now... The scuba gear I need oil for because I really want to make a jetpack this episode. So if you look over here, jetpacks take metal ingots, polymer, oil, and gas. Now oil and gas is pretty much what we're short on. We can get polymer, but we need more cementing paste. That's just a matter of getting chitin or possibly getting a beaver dam or something like that, which I'm not opposed to, but I definitely want some chitin. What I think I'm going to do is with the scuba gear, I should be able to go with T-Lin because T-Lin's pretty fast in the water and I shouldn't have to worry about sharks with it. I don't know what her oxygen meter is, but going down just to get oil, I should be fine. So anyway, let's get this scuba gear going and we should be all right with that. Yeah, only 15 cementing paste left, so I'm going to need quite a bit more to get polymer going. So T-Lin's oxygen rating is 960, which is... Pretty darn good. It's not bad. She's actually gonna go to the surface immediately, like as soon as we go down. Uh, but it'll be okay. So let's get to where we can get into the deep here. And let's see what we can do. So we shall put on the goggles and our scuba gear. And let's go down and see what we can do. So yeah, T Lin's pretty fast in the water. Not incredibly fast, but not that bad. I should have make a, made a pair of flippers, come to think of it. But I didn't know how far down I'd have to go for oil. Not for it all. There's the actual oil right there. Now, what I'll have to do is make sure t Lin's following me. Because as soon as I harvest this thing, she's going to go up. She's going to go up anyway, but I want to be able to make sure that I can go meet her. Let's make sure there's no sharks around. Should be good. We'll dismount and hit J. All right, that should have been pretty good. So she went right to the top, and we have 154 oil. Very, very good. Okay, even though I'm slow, it's not that bad. <laughs> and it looks like there's the dolphin. Echo the dolphin. All right, so, t Lin, you're, you're fine. Calm down. Calm down, sister. Oh, hola, t Lin. <laughs> She's crazy, y'all. She is nuts. Hold on. T Lin, relax. <laughs> relax. I don't want my stamina to run out. All right. So, so far, so good. Stamina on the Giganto is perfect, too. Let's go look around for another oil node. I would like to get at least one more without getting into too much trouble. And then we can go seek out some cementing paste. So, that's just coral and stuff. This is a little bit deeper of the ledge. I'll tell you what, I would feel better if we got back a little bit closer to the island here. I don't want to get too far away from my beds and stuff, because it's hard enough to find your corpse as it is. Now, I think we do have the Corpse Finder mod installed. Ooh, I need these bad. I need these bad. Alright, it's worth it. Oh, wow, there's a few of them. Okay, hold up. Trilobite, dead... But in the bushes, hold on, Trilobite. All right, Trilobite's dead. And actually, we should be all right here. There's still no sharks that I can see. Only fish. All right, I made sure it was following me. Let's use the hatchet. Where did that Trilobite go? It would be very nice to see it. Uh, and my ground clutter's turned all the way down, yeah. I hope I don't hit this dolphin, but if I do, it's going to be his own fault. Get out of the way, dolphin. Yeah, I think I hit it already. All right, well, I can't find that trilobite. Okay, let's go and try to find the others. I think my stamina is still pretty good, about halfway. Where did all the trilobites go? Hmm... 
It doesn't look like it doesn't look like I have any of them to harvest. Oh, there's one. All right, one is better than none. I would think there was like four there though. Missed opportunities, I guess. All right, not that bad. 161 chitin, and there's my buddy Tlian. <laughs> All right, we still need one more oil. Everybody's having a lot of fun on the server, I think. <laughs> All right, T-Lin. T-Lin. Sheesh, man. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, now we can rest the stamina and go back down one more time. If I see any trilobites, I might try again, but I really need oil first. And there's the last node that we really need. Okay, check over the edge. No sharks. I should be all right. Okay. Oh, wait, I should be using my axe for this. Oh, only 37 oil because I'm a noob. I am such a noob. There's more oil over here. t Lin should follow me. As long as I don't see sharks and as long as my stamina is pretty good, I think I'll be all right. I can't believe I harvested that thing with my hatchet. That was a dirt move. All right. Well, at any rate, it'll be like two and a half nodes. Okay, what see some stuff see shadows <laughs> I get kind of worried when I see those all right I'm still okay as far as oh look all the trilobites right here too okay I might just try to get those with my uh with my pick I don't have a pike on me and it's pretty hard to kill them if they're high level but all right let's try let's just try that one's a pretty low level. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. Okay. <laughs> that Megalodon came out of nowhere. All right. So, it looks like I went right northeast of here, which shouldn't be that bad. And I should be able to find my body pretty easy. So, let's respawn in sleeping bag. We'll create the corpse finder and go look for it. Now, I think the corpse finder is relatively easy to find, too. Um, let's see. The problem is our scuba gear got eaten and broken. So let's see. Corpse finder mod, I think, is... Let's see. I don't have it yet. Corpse. Oh, we might not have it. I thought we did, but maybe we don't. Okay. That's not a problem, though. Okay, so northeast... I just need to find where, I'll tell you what, probably the best thing to do is going to be for me to bring out a Pteranodon to go see. I'll bring out the Pteranodon, find where I went, find where my, um, my Giganto's at. That shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be too hard to find, honestly. And even if I did die, all I lost is a couple broken metal tools and some, um, and some oil, which would stink honestly but all right let's see here that's where i am right there okay so the giganto is killing the sharks like it's going out of style this is probably where i was thank goodness i left t lin t lin neutral all right t lin's probably gonna kill him I sure hope so, at least. There's a lot of sharks in the water right there. Uh, whistle... Attack my target. Wow, look at the sharks, man. And the dolphins are all in the mix, too. I don't want to lose this spot is the only reason I'm not really moving. T-Lin should be pretty good to fight. <laughs> Let's hope so. There are a lot of Megalodons in the water. I mean, a lot. And I really don't want to lose my stuff. Are you going to kill him? <laughs> I guess we'll just wait until it fights for a little while. Sheesh. Alright, new plan. T-Lin's taking way too long, and there is a shark that's dead on the water to mark. So, 
it should be all right if we just tell t -Len to follow. And I'm gonna manually murder those sharks. All right. Come on, t -Len. Okay, let's get back in the water here. Go where the sharks was. And try our best to annihilate them. They're all mate boosted and stuff too, but... That shouldn't stop us from really killing them. Alright, I need my oxygen back. Okay, now that we have all those taken care of, let's go down and see if I can find my bag. It's gonna be a little hard to spot, but... Ah, that was pretty easy. Take all. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's go back up top. Oxygen's running short. <laughs> oh, man. What a fiasco, huh? Alright, t -Lin, Stay still. I'm almost there, baby. Ah. <laughs> Success. Okay. So we broke our stuff, but... We got the oil that we needed and stuff. I'm going to head back to base and we'll start getting some stuff ready to craft the jetpack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are y'all psyched? I got it. 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 Jet. I got it. I got it. I got it. So I've tested these before and they are extremely cool. So max durability is 60. A tank that's filled with gasoline used to temporarily fly, so it takes your armor slot, which kind of sucks. But, look at it. I'm in K mode, right? If we hit space, you ascend. <laughs> it's really cool. And when you hit, I think, C, which is crouch, you descend. And I know it's kind of hard to see. But this is basically what we need to do. So, we can fly now. And it's really slow. It really is. It's not incredibly fast. But it is flight without even worrying about a bird. The great thing about this is, let's say you're flying around with your Pteranodon. And you have your rifle. And you see something you want to tame in the air. Your Pteranodon could be on passive or whatever the case may be. And you can fly. Get, on, get off of it. Shoot it. Get back on your Pteranodon. And dart away from it again. It's a really, really cool setup. Plus, you can take it off anytime you want. Now, the durability goes down on it. As you can see, the durability is already going down on it. But watch this. Let's go ahead and land. And I'll take it off. All right, so it's off now. Now, guess what it takes to repair? Two gasoline. So you can repair the item just by having some gas on you. It's really, really quick. Actually, with parachutes, you can do this in the air without even having to worry about it. It is extremely cool to have. So, we're going to make sure that we don't lose this one. <laughs> we're going to take 20 guys with us, and I really need to get some rare flowers from the um, from the swamp. So, I think the best way to do this is going to be just get my Pteranodon, and we're going to fly over there. Hold on. I think I still have, I have way too much oil and metal on me. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dump this. I'm gonna meet you guys at the swamp. We're gonna get a little bit of the rare flowers. We're gonna come back and craft some 30 th CC darts. And then we're gonna tame something crazy. All right, you guys. Here we are. Just need to make a little stop. Oh, you see that Beelzebufo? What are you? Oh, it's a fire. <gasps> what? Oh, that's a brood. Uh, this may not be a good place to stop. What? Level 385. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. She is spraying poison out and all kind of stuff. I just need to get a little bit of... <laughs> of that, those, that black grass. Okay, there's some on this side, which will probably be a bunch easier. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be awesome? I guess you could tame those the regular old way. But I really think we need an Argent or something bigger <laughs> before we take on those things. Because our BAs aren't exactly stellar, you know what I mean? I mean, they're getting there, but Broodmother's probably going to be, like, unbelievably powerful. Okay, let's just survey the area a little bit here. I think we should be... Uh-oh, 
That's a snake. Hold on, is it coming? Yeah. We should be able to kill it relatively easy. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Well, now that we got this, there's only a little bit of black stuff here. Let's take one more look around. Oh, I knew it. Meganura, man. That would have hurt bad. My armor's not the greatest. Hold on, let's take keep a look at our health. Alright, we gotta be careful, man. <laughs> I do not want to lose... Where are the Meganura? Ah, here they are. They're back. It's really hard to fight them. Like this. Let's turn around. Did that work? No. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Oh. We killed two of them, but we ran out of stamina. I think that's it, actually. Alright. Make sure our guy is following. Make sure it's on passive, just so we can get on them and get out of here if we need to. And let's see if we can get some rare flowers. Did not get any rare flowers. Dang, man. Only fiber. Okay. We need to get a dino that can actually get rare flowers out here then. Hmm. All right, you guys. We are approaching the spot. I swam all the way here with my ankle. Well, I took some land because I think back there there's an alpha megalodon. I saw a red glow in the water. I don't know what it is, but it's... It's definitely not something I want to mess with. I don't think it's Prime Alpha because it really didn't wake up or anything, but go to sleep. <laughs> I love poison dinos, man. Even Anklos are really, really cool. Alright, I'm hoping that this gives us some rare flowers. Because this is what we really need. Once we get those 30cc darts, guys, it's not going to be incredible because we ain't got a super rifle yet. But it's still going to do a lot of Torpor damage. Probably a lot more than any of the Anunnaki Genesis darts will. Plus, we have some of those that I found in a little crate. So, I mean, we can try them. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, hey, you're going to want some, huh? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So, where are the black plants now? think yeah in this corner back here should be fine you know and Beals a bufo would kind of be a cool trophy to take home too I don't know I'm not opposed to trying it not if he's around close enough let's see if I can harvest this stuff <gasps> Wow did I yes I got some rare flowers <laughs> oh 446 of them to be exact plus some plant species X stuff Really, really cool. Let's let go of the berries. Good lord, that was a lot. Um, yeah, we don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> Not at all. I guess I'll keep this. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Uh, let's bring up... Actually, let's bring up movement speed a little bit, just because it's nice to be able to, to drift around a little bit. Okay, that brood mother's over there. But so is that red frog. What level is that red frog? I forget. Let's see if we can spot it from here. Oh, female elite Araniomorphus? That's a really cool looking spider. It's red and white. And the elite means we should be able to ride it without a saddle too. Hmm. I wonder. I don't know how strong it would be. But... We can try some stuff, you guys. I got my jetpack. All right, let's go for it. So I'm going to just leave my guy here. Passive. Um, Do I have my crossbow? I do. All right. All right. So let's load the crossbow up. I need to get this rifle online. But man, these tames are just... They call in my name. <laughs> All right, we cannot get too close to this... Uh, Tell you what. Let's make sure the flowers and stuff stay on him. Yeah, that's that'll keep me safe. All right. So if I can get it over here, 
my BA will take care of it. No problem at all. And I should have... Oh, I need prime meat, huh? Oh, I could get prime off of one of these guys. It shouldn't be bad. In fact, you know what? I might should get that before I even start. I tell you what. Let's do this. Let's get some prime before we even start. Will that reach? Yep. Come on down, buddy. I don't know what level this thing is. I hope I didn't pick a fight with something that I can't beat. 460? <laughs> well, it's not going to be easy, but that's all right. That's all right. Let's put it to sleep. Got to get close to it and... Did I not do anything? I hit it. Yeah, get closer, buddy. <laughs> I wonder how much torpor I'm doing to it. At least I'm still hitting it. Oh, now you scared? Oh, Lord, I got so much stuff on me right now. Drop the rocks, drop the metal. It's the berries and stuff that I really have to worry about. Yeah, come back over. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this beast is hard to knock out, huh? Lay down, big girl. There you go. All right. Uh-oh. We got company. Oh, that one went down almost immediately. All right. I might as well just hack on it. Just like this. All right. There's one. This one might take a few more hits. That one must have been much, much, much lower level. Good lord, it's taking a lot, too. <laughs> this wouldn't have been a bad Paraceratherium to tame. Alright, its health is almost down. Sheesh, man. I just need to make sure it's dead. I don't necessarily need to harvest it. I need to harvest the other one. Come on. Just die. Alright. <laughs> the ragdoll is real. Okay. And they should be like right here. Uh, where'd the corpses go? Ah, oh, here we go. It's so stupid how <laughs> this works. Alright. 17, 19, 23, 24, 26. It's gonna stack, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna harvest as much of it as I can. <laughs> if you're not sure what's going on right now, the uh, the Paraceratherium bodies above, do you see how that one just went out of nowhere? Uh, there's still one over there too, but, um, oh, uh oh, I didn't even notice. Uh, the white Titan Boa is unconscious. Wild Titan Boa. Yeah, we can kill it too. I don't know why I'm not just killing it with my, uh, my Anklo. Prime Alpha Megalodon has been defeated. Wow, something killed a Megalodon that I was just talking about in the water. Okay, so let's get rid of a little bit of this stuff. We had so many Narco Bears, I hate to throw them away, but we're going to have to throw away some stuff. Alright, let's throw away all of that. Let's make sure all of the extra berries are gone. Uh, let's throw away the wood. I think the rest of it is going to be all right. This stuff, it's got a pretty good expiration timer on it. We'll be all right. Okay, so we've got the prime. Now, where did this guy go? Ah, I see the Beals of Bufo. I see it. All right, what we need to do is get close to it. And we need to get it to come follow us. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and let's start getting a little bit of health. Oh man, this is so awesome. Alright, where is it at? I gotta make sure that this stupid... Um, <laughs> this stupid spider queen doesn't come mess with me. Wow, there's... Titan bow is a big... Is that an elite one? Oh no, they're just grouping up. That spider's awesome too, man. I love this. This is so awesome. I wonder if I could hit it from here. 
Gotta stay away from that. Okay, yeah, did I aggro it? Uh-oh. Alright, it's coming. What? Look at that thing in the air! What? What is even going on? Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's take off the... the jetpack. Put on the armor. Okay, we ready? Wow. Oh my gosh! I think I just died. Not necessarily? What is going on? It knocked us both out. <laughs> That's a minion and it killed me? Well, it didn't kill me, but it knocked me out. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna die right here. The question is, did my anklo die? My anklo like, looks like it's just passed out. The spider got knocked out too, but the spider's probably gonna wake up. I have no idea what's gonna happen here, you guys. Oh, there it is. That sucks, man. And my jetpack's gonna be gone too. Ah, oh, that really stinks. To get my stuff back is gonna be really, really difficult, I think. A Titan boa, boa came out of nowhere. I don't know if my ankle is gonna live either. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> All right, at least we didn't bring the Pteranodon out. Let's grab the Pteranodon and come back out and we'll see what's happening. All right, guys, I said I wasn't gonna bring the Pteranodon because I really didn't stand a chance. If those things are hovering, I really couldn't fight them. So I brought the Giganto. <laughs> t Lin is going to break them up, hopefully. I have no idea. How powerful these things are. I know they're pretty powerful to knock down that thing like it was nothing, but let's see. I see one of the Titan Boas over there. Let's just try to lure them out piece by piece. So I'm pretty sure my Anklo is dead. The spider is still down there. I don't know if it's dead or what. It looks like the spider may be down too. All right, let's kill. Let's kill all the things that are coming out here. I'm not too sure what happened here. My anklo is nowhere to be found. I think my anklo just bit the dust. All right. Well, my stuff's here. Let's check aggro one time. What's fighting over there? What's fighting? Is that frog after it? All right, as long as it stays right there, it should be fine. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna take the chance. I'll kill the Meganura. Okay. My poor Anklo. But I did, it did do its job. It got the rare flowers. Okay. I think I'll be okay. Let's see what we got here. We got trash. Okay. Minion. Uh, did I? I don't know. I got anything from that. Take all. Alright, I don't see my corpse. Did I grab? No, this is from the Anklo. So where's my corpse? Oh, no. Maybe I missed it? It's gotta be around somewhere. I hope I didn't lose all that stuff. Oh no. I think I lost it, you guys. Let's check the pack again. <gasps> oh no, there it is. Oh, apparently I had just checked the spider before. Oh, the jetpack is safe. <laughs> all right, guys, I've been crafting and hustling and gathering and I'm getting prepared for some serious taming. First of all, I made a bunch of flat gear, so we good to go. I got one set of narcotic. They're very expensive. I don't have a lot of cementing paste. That's what I really need to do. I'm going to do some offline hunting for some beaver dams and try to go steal some. Um, set of narcotic. I got one. 
819 metal along with the Kibble Vinden machine. Five 30cc Trank Darts. Actually, I have more than that. I have a bunch of them that I made in here. Ten more. We still have some rare flowers to go around, but polymer is really what I'm missing. Again, cementing paste is going to be the death of me. So, at any rate, we are ready to go, but we're out of time for this episode. So, next time we come back, we're going to do some taming. I'm going to try to get a poison argent or a big argent that I can use to help me tame and get around so I can actually kill stuff. Um, about those brood mothers and stuff, I really don't know how powerful they are. I think I'm going to need to do some serious leveling, but I'd like to get a couple of prime specimens that I can actually do that with. So, that's going to all come next episode, maybe even some base building. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show your support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.